So I thought I'd show a little bit about what I did. This is a glow shift gauge pod, triple gauge pod for an F250. And in order to get this to work properly, because when you put this on here, you're going to notice that it doesn't really line up perfectly. And there would be a secondary, the factory pillar which the glow shift gauge pod actually mounts on top of but it was exposed so what I did was I trimmed about a half inch off the front side that goes towards the windshield on this then I put uh, three screws that came with the glow shift gauges and I also glued it because you'll notice when you put this in and actually mount it into the truck uh, the glow shift portion was bulging in three different places here. So by gluing it, it's going to give it a nice clean look. So I'll go ahead and uh, mount this in, and then I'll come back and show you uh, what we have. Actually, I'll just give you a little. So what I've got right now is the all the wires coming up through, which I routed under the dash. Uh, the power, if you have an F250, I got the constant out of uh, the dome light basically, which was a 5 amp. And I've got the a switched out of this, which was the instrument cluster, and I added these add a, add a uh, circuit, um, bound them all together. So basically, I've got them all taped up now. But you get the constant source, switch source, and then I picked up the switched behind here, which I might pop that off so I can show you. Let me pause this for a minute. So I got the power for the parking lights. This is a 2001 F-250. And you'll notice that wire right there, which is a red with white. But I soldered these two connections together for that particular thing. So the gauges will have... When you turn on your headlights, they'll also dim, which I've tested it, and that is working. That just snaps out, which is super easy. You stick a uh, screwdriver under here in that little slot, pop that out, and then you can get to the back of that. Then, let's see if you can see. Let me turn on the light. So I'll show you where I've got the wires. I've got them going. I drilled a hole through the firewall. There's the uh, gas pedal. And I basically drilled a hole through the firewall to run the triple uh, wires for the sensors through the firewall. I'll show you on the other side. So you can see the wires coming through there. This big one on the top, that's running uh, my amp so I already drilled that a few years ago and then I drilled another hole below that half inch hole put a grommet in there and ran my wires through there and you can see the new wire loom running through there which basically I got one that goes into the transmission One's going to go into the water jacket on the side of the engine, then I'm going to pick up the oil sending unit, T off of that. So probably the easiest one is the transmission. On This is a F-250 with the V-10, and it has a test port right on the side of the transmission. You just pull that plug out, which is right here. Pull that out. I put some Teflon on the new one threads right back in there and then just hook that up now for the water line I haven't got it yet but I'll show you where I'm gonna go see that plug right there 
that's going to pull that out. That's a half inch. I'm going to get a half inch to one eighth inch and stick my water uh, temperature into there. And then the water oil temperature I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, so I've got the A pillar in. You can see basically you're running the sensor wire and the power wire through each of those three. Pretty simple. And our gauges are just going to plug in and then shove them into these little slots. One, two, three. So the three pin goes on the bottom and the four pin goes on top. If I had another hand I would stick it on but I'm just going to stick it in there and then I'll turn it back on. So I just learned if you um, push these gauges in, they're pretty tight just by pushing them in. So I think that this pod made by Glowshift was designed just to stick the gauges in with no back clamp, which is really awesome. See how sturdy that is? Okay, so there's the three pods installed. I'll go ahead and turn it on so you can see what it does when on startup. Pretty cool. I'll give you another update once I get it finished installing. But there it is with the trim piece in. Uh, looks pretty sharp. Pretty nice tripod. Okay, so I'm going to finish up this video. I was able to put the rest of the sensors on. Now, in this particular install, we have a transmission temperature, um, engine temperature, and oil temperature are the three gauges that I wanted. So the transmission I showed you the other day, I was able to get the temperature sensor, and I wanted to show you where we are able to put that on the side of the block. Let me go down here. Sorry for the shaky video. So right there on the side of the block we were able to put the temperature sensor on a V10 just uh, behind the oil filter. And I mistakenly said that was a half inch. It's actually 3 8 inch plug. In order to get the 3 8 plug out you use an 8 millimeter uh, Allen wrench. Couldn't get it out with an 8 millimeter. I actually wound up using a, an impact wrench uh, with an 8 millimeter socket in order to get that out because it's really tight in there. This is a 2001 Ford F250, so it's been in there for a long time. So there's where I put the engine temperature sensor and. I'll show you what I did for the oil temperature. Can you see that up in there? That's a quarter inch. So it's a quarter inch nipple going into a quarter inch T. Then I threaded the factory oil pressure sensor on the back right there. You can see it right there. And then uh, the oil temperature sensor. I had to use a quarter inch to eighth inch reducer and then screw the eighth inch temperature sensor on the back of that. Now if you wanted an oil pressure sensor aftermarket, you could thread that on the back of that as well. Or if you wanted all three, you could use that same fitting for that. So again, this is an F250. This particular machine has a 12 inch lift, so that made uh, getting under there a little easier. But if you want to use a Uh, max toe was what I used. Max toe gauge set. Triple gauge set. Went ahead and put the sticker up there. This is my work truck. And we put these gauges on because I wanted to know what those temperatures actually were instead of the idiot lights and gauges that Ford gives you. Thanks for watching.